Hey guys, Nova Explosion. Welcome to Tales of Graces F. Uh, this is most likely, honestly, I didn't expect this, but I think this might be the finale of the playthrough. We might finish the game today, and that includes like the rest of the F arc, obviously. I think we're going to be finishing the F arc today, which in turn means we're finishing Graces. And tomorrow is Symphonia Day, <laughs> if I even get my copy on time, so perfect timing if we do finish the game. I'm gonna try to play until the game is done. I don't think it'll take more, I mean like, I don't know, I'm four to six hours to finish the game. We're just gonna play until the game is done because it would help my schedule if Graces gets done before Symphonia starts. Alright, so we got the skit already, now we just need to go to B1 and go to Emerald's room for a scene. I think we got the skits already here. And I also got, like, the figurines that I talked about. Genius, welcome to the stream. Oh, I dropped by since I finished my assignments. It's good to hear. College assignments, I know what that's like. I mean, I, ju I just got home from classes, too, because Tuesdays and Thursdays I come home late. Hence why we have late streams. Sigh. What happened? Hmm, what's this? Oh, that beetle got decimated. What was that? I think the light was some of Bodra's Aleph. Hmm. But in that case... It's probably Bahamut, um, causing Mega Flare all over Fodra, calling it. The building on that map looks to be some kind of facility. Aleph Research Laboratory? Huh. I bet they were researching Fodra's core there. Can you locate its position? Yep. Let me just send the coordinates to the shuttle. Sweet. Now we can just zoom on over there. If monsters are in this city, I hate to think what it's like outside. Sai, do you know what's happening at the lab right now? Looks like we'll have to go there and find out. Looks like it. Pascal, can you find the meadow with the flowers? Well, that crazy lady blew us way off course. But yeah, I think I could find it again. I... I feel like I have to meet that girl. What do you think? I've been wondering about the meadow myself. But I think we should check out the lab first. Does that work for you, Sophie? Hey, Elf Research Lab. This is an entirely I think like the next three dungeons are exclusive to the F arc. Oh yeah, welcome to stream. Before oh never mind, cutscene first. What's wrong? What is it? Hmm, I see. You understand what he's saying? Not really, no. Sai, do you want to come with us? Is that okay, Asbel? Of course. All right, good talk. Before going to the elf lab, I want to go, like, fight stuff. I think there's, like, four. There's, like, a few enemies that are exclusive to this. Um, exclusive to Region 13. I want to go just fight a bit, and also we could probably get some materials for the figurines. Like I said, I'm not going to go out of my way to get, like, seven 
figurines for every character because I feel like that's a little unnecessary. But I want to have at least one figurine per character. I think they give you Richard's figure, the Richard doll, from a chest or something? Because the main the main reason you're going to want to use the dolls is to use Richard in the main arc? I could be wrong about that, but I'll make sure we get at least one figurine per character. Keep oh, we get to hear Epic Release. I love it. Yeah, I think these enemies are like new entries here. Goodbye. Easy, Holy Lance. We did it, Sharia. All right, so we got those enemies. I think there's like a treant that's new to the book too. Keep your guard. Okay, this is not. This is the Sandrake we just fought and the uh, Basilisk enemies. Ow! <laughs> I was calling my Shadowkin. How dare you? Behold, Rising Phoenix. Never mind that Basilisk did not like Rising Phoenix. Honestly, fair. <laughs> All right, there's my Shadowkin. Oh, yeah, welcome to... I think I said hello to you, Arietta. If not, welcome. <laughs> I had the worst power outage today, by the way. I mean, like... Yeah, I had a power... This is a new enemy. I had a really bad power outage. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to stream. My whole neighborhood had it. It was really annoying. I'm glad that wasn't the case, though, because... <laughs> Getting graces done before Symphonia would be ideal. We must always give it our best. Uh, all right, there's the treant enemy we have to find now. I think there's a treant. Must you? Oh, and these wyverns. We haven't fought these wyverns. This is also new. Hey, how do you feel about Majestic Gate? Do you dare witness its aurora? We have to see Richard's uh, level 4 Mystic Art at some point. Also, Sharia is dead. Is Sophie, like, doing something about that? Oh, wait, no, she's busy healing us. So, no, she's not. Hubert, you do something about that. Oh, nice iron stance for me. Up, 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 up. Thank you for the nurse. Sophie didn't live for long enough, though. Alright, well, I guess I'm gonna have to do this. I'm stunned. Of course I'm stunned. Sophie, I need you to... Goodbye. How are these wyverns so strong? Please just give me a chance to retaliate. I almost got out of that. Alright, well... It's Sherry up. I'm gonna have to take control of Huber for a bit. Please, power hits. Alright, it's fine. Why are you using Revitalize, you moron, Sharia? What are you doing? Yes, get people up. That's what you should be doing. Alright, Richard's back. Huber has, like, no power hit from AR, huh? Sharia's AI, man. <laughs> it's really questionable. <laughs> I mean, the whole AI is, like, not anything to write home about, but Sherry is specifically. She'll prioritize attacking over reviving sometimes. Alright, well, that's what happened, Sherry. You died because you... Because you, uh... You suck at your job. Uh, dude, I forgot Aero Squad, like, makes the game lag. <laughs> makes it lag hard. Uh, there you go, Sophie. 
love this game, but one of my least favorite things about it is the item cooldown time. Still really don't like it. Even if there are skills to reduce it, it's still bad. <laughs> Die, you dumb wyvern. There we go. Yes, Hubert's eyes are evil. Just like Cyclops from uh, the X-Men. Yeah, I'll hit a quick save really quick. Alex, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Wait, was that the treant I need? That's a Drake again. I need a treant. It's the last enemy I need for my book. There's the treant. Must you just beat you up? What? Um, nope. Sophie! Why'd you leave Sherry uh, alone to do the reviving? She's not very good at it. Alright, this is fine. You guys are really slow. I could definitely make use of this. Really annoying stun. I hate it. Bum, bum, bum. Ow. Alright, well. Uh, no. Easy R came bigger. Although you used air pressure at the same time. Can you, like, not, though? Hubert. Please cooperate with me. Thank you. Thank you. Why is Fire Breath move so annoying? Good to know that this... I think the rest of the F arc is not going to be a complete pushover. Because the F arc has been a pushover because I did Zone Cage first. Bum, 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 bum. Yes, Fiery Beast. This reminds me of Star Ocean. Tales of and Star Ocean are made by similar companies. So, honestly, if you're going to compare this to something, Star Ocean's like the common assumption. The story is, I could be wrong, the story is that the people that made, I think Fantasia, the people that made Tales of Fantasia, the first Tales game, they split up. Some people formed their own team to make Star Ocean. So that's exactly why they are similar. They're considered sister series to each other. Everyone did as well as could be expected. All right, I think we got all the new enemies. And that brought my book up to... Wait, that's the mixer. Whoops. 90%. All right. Again, not going to be 100% because we need Lambda Theos. I really gotta play Star Ocean 3 again. I recently finished, uh, I mean, I finished 6. I started doing the post game of 6. I'm, I'm, like, mostly through it. I'm on a really annoying part, though. I was talking about this, like, I was recording 6, and I'm just like, Star Ocean 6, good game. Probably my favorite Star Ocean, but also, very much like, I feel like the post game was handled better in 3. Because there's not as much, like, RNG to get the ultimate weapons. Getting the ultimate weapons in 6 is, like, annoying. More importantly, I gotta get the Platinum Trophy in Star Ocean 3. That'll give me... That'll give me a reason to play 3 again. Just to try and get the rest of the trophies. Although that game is annoying the Platinum. Give me an item shop. Yeah, I need my life bottles because I use so many. Thank you. I got a Kazier Rapier. Kazier Rapier, nice. Killer Fang. Let's go kill some more stuff before I go to the Elf Lab. Three is hard to top for me. Six is very dope. Three was my favorite. 
what it comes down to is I think six is a better story and I like the cast a lot more than six not to say I don't I still really like some of the characters in three but um the overall cast I really like the Star Ocean six cast and the story was a lot better was it perfect no not not at all but it was a lot better and the ending of three is like I don't like the ending and the plot twist all that much six had a really good ending I still have to play Leticia's side. I am art sealed. That's annoying. I'm really excited to play Leticia's side because I'll like six even more. Six is still a game. Like it's it's a good game. It's still like got some problems, but overall, um, it, it was a fun time and it was a nice comeback to Star Ocean after like four and five were not so great. Four is like fine. Four is like fine and five is like mediocre. Like, we've talked about this. <laughs> So six was like easily one of the best. Like it was the comeback we needed. But yeah, I really I still like Star Ocean 3. Star Ocean 3 is still a good game. But man, six is just, I think six is my favorite because it does better with the story and the characters. Gameplay's a toss up because I have my problems with Star Ocean. I have my problems with Star Ocean 6's combat. <laughs> that was fun. I love Arcane Viger. Um, gameplay is kind of a tie because I really... There are some... 6 is like fundamentally a really good combat system, but it's got some problems where I'm like, I think I prefer 3. Because there are problems in 6 that weren't really a problem in 3. So it's a toss up in the gameplay department. And the music, oh, Star Ocean 3's music is unrivaled. Both good games though. Three was my favorite Star Ocean for a while and six like beats it out barely. Emerald Typhoon. Rest in peace forever. Alright, really what I wanted to do was I just wanted to fight, like, an enemy. I wanted to fight, like, one battle while I talked about Star Ocean because I know we're going to immediately get a cutscene here. That's mostly why I did that battle. But now we can go into the lab and get whatever cutscene this is. What happened here? It's very different from the other places we've seen on Fodra. I think it's kind of creepy. I'm guessing it's been this way for at least a few hundred years. Whatever happened took place the same time Fodra was dying. Dying. Are you alright? What is it? I knew it. She's calling me. Strange. I didn't hear anything. I think we should wrap things up here as soon as we can. Anyway, back to Star Ocean 3 for a little bit. But, um, Star Ocean 3. I see people talking about the characters. Um, the characters in 3, like, I really like Maria and Nell. Maria and Nell are, like, two of my favorite Star Ocean characters, period. But then there's, like, I'm Cliff I'm not really a big fan of. Mirage is fine. Sophia is also fine. Fate's, like, a pretty good protagonist. I don't like Fate as much as, like, Raymond, Leticia... Claude and Reyna, but Fate's, like, pretty good. After, like, he has a rough start. And then, like, not really a fan of Roger. Pepita's, like, fine. Not really a fan of All Bell. So it's it's a toss-up with the characters from 3. It's got two of my favorite in the franchise, but, like, at the same time, it's got, like, not, as, not bad characters like 4. Nothing like Limmel from 4 or Sarah from 4 that I, like, hate them, but, like... I don't really like Roger and Albell, but I don't really hate them as much as I hate other characters from the franchise, basically. 
is what I'm trying to get at. 